So Overwatch 2 got its first community created map and you know a lot of people are trying it a lot of people are playing it and it's big it's weird it's blocky it's not really all that developed very well it's it's not a great map at the end of the day it's just it's not a great map you the bottom area is completely useless it's it's great for the jump pad part but otherwise there's no reason to stay down there and then it's just way too open it's way too open for 5v5 even with the ability to choose whatever character you want create whatever composition that you want it's way too open uh stuff gets done but all the fighting ends up happening in the same places so it's just it's it's just a, a matter of why is it that big so not a great map but i'm not gonna say it's completely terrible it's not uh it's open but it forces teamwork because you can't get up there without your team grouped up like this is a map where you have to be grouped up in order to get anything done because whoever dominates the top they get to dictate where they stand where they set up all that stuff and while there are many different ways to get up top even still if you don't have a relative game plan whether it's i'm going to follow my tank or you're in a team and you are discussing what you're going to do you're going to get worked most of the time just trinkling it and yes that is across overwatch 2 but it's especially apparent on talantis so that's a good part i do think the map does create interesting flanks it says you know it has five different ways you can flank your opponent different five different ways to get up top i, I do think that is an interesting element especially if you are guarding the top there is a level of where are they going to come from next if they're playing smart so that's cool i like that but at the end of the day like it's good enough to where i feel like it could be modified to work better i would say that my imagination goes to an inverted cone instead of the bottom being wide and the top being wide i feel like the bottom should be smaller to force more engagements and then if you need to retreat then you go to the top and then the fight continues from there that's the way i imagine it. that's a very simplistic way of how i imagine the map could be constructed but as it is right now yeah it's not great but the map is leaving may 1st it's just gone so it's here for a little bit it's featured in the arcade meaning it is a mode where you could just play that map specifically and even after this even though the map isn't great my takeaway is still keep it and i say keep it because myself and i've seen a lot of you out there too out on them internet streets y'all want 10 v 10 because it's big enough so i would say make it overwatch's first big team map and create a mode around the idea of big team 10 v 10 i feel like that's brilliant all of you suggesting 10 v 10 you're brilliant that would make the map worthwhile see because once the map is gone the map just becomes a meme at that point because i don't think blizzard's going to do anything else with it so talantis it's like hey look at this thing we kind of goofed around and created in on twitch and you know the blizzard devs kind of put it together and oh look it's in the game so millions of people could play it okay so it's history would just be oh it was a meme remember that thing that was cool imagine how it would feel to know the map was something more though and it became something that was actually usable and inspired an entirely new game mode that would be amazing to think oh this started as a meme map and to blizzard's credit you know they honored their promise and said they were going to put it in the game and they did and it's not a great map but they said they were going to do it and they did and it's cool and it's fun haha you get a little joy out of it for a little while go back to playing overwatch revisit it just for the the laughs and the memes but what if it became something more i feel like this map has that potential to be the first of something greater and so the history wouldn't be oh it's just a meme the history would be man it was a meme but now it's actually something and it's fun and here's the other thing the reason why 
they should lean into this idea of big team and 10 v 10 is because Overwatch just needs to lean into the absurd. And it's an absurd idea. This is absolutely nuts. The idea of 10 v 10, you never think like, yeah, that's that's what Overwatch needs. Something like Halo, like big team battle. No, you would just think something like April Fool's event like that was absurd and it worked. It completely worked. Why? Because it was so absurd. Overwatch is at its best when it swings one way or the other. Anything in the middle, it doesn't quite work as much. The reason, well, I'll say this. Overwatch is at its best when it's being competitive. When it leans into what it is, it is a competitive game. And when they try to mix and match casual with competitive, it doesn't quite work as well. But when they lean into this game is competitive, it works. And then when they fully lean into this is supposed to be absurd, it works. That's why April Fool's worked so well, because it was ridiculous. It just took it to a whole nother level of absurdity. That's why Battle of the Gods didn't work. And they're going to revisit the event again, but it didn't work because it wasn't absurd enough. It has to be one or the other. If you're going to have casual Overwatch stuff, that's great. Usually I would say don't mix and match what you are. But if you swing the pendulum all the way over, it works because it's a complete contrast to what the original intention was. And so it fits. And then you have what the original intention is competitive overwatch and so 10 v 10 would be complete craziness just look at the action that's happening on screen right there's probably not a lot happening depending on where this all lines up but imagine five more people on each team you'd have people fighting on the top on the sides on the bottom stuff lucio's flying around like divas ever was sick you know like just ashes and bob like it would just be pretty nuts would there be teamwork i don't even know but who cares at that point like it's 10 v 10 and y'all are just going at it and fighting over this one point i do feel like if they were going to keep it a control map with 10 v 10 I think they would have to modify the round based system just for 10 v 10 and go more of like a longer single round instead of, you know, multiple 10 v 10 rounds. I, th- I think that would be the compromise that's made there. And so, you know, I, I forget how much, how fast it ticks off. I think it's like every two and a half seconds you get a tick. And so I would probably lengthen it maybe a second longer just so the battle doesn't end too quickly but it doesn't last too long either you know what i'm saying so i feel like that would be the compromise just one big map for control whoever wins wins you know i feel like that would be a lot and there's just fighting the whole time healers everywhere beams you know (laughs) lamps just stuff oh that would be so much fun it would be absolutely nuts and so If you're not going to redesign the map, at least give us the 10 v 10. Oh, that would be so brilliant. That would be so awesome. So what do you think should happen with Talantis after it goes away? Do you think it should go 10 v 10? Do you have other plans for it? Would you like to see Blizzard do something else with it? Or would you just like to see it go away and never come back? Let me know what you think in the comments. You know where to do that. This is YouTube. You've been doing this a long time. Tap whatever thumb you like and subscribe to have more conversations on the latest in video games and video game news.